Welcome to this demo of the Studio Prime Portal. The Studio Prime Portal is where you can administer your users, manage projects and sessions, integrations, and folder automations, as well as run reports on those managed projects and sessions and users. To start, head to studio.bluebeam.com and log in. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the Studio Prime dashboard where you can get a quick overview of your total users, manage projects and sessions, active integrations, and folder automations, along with a chart showing studio usage and a list of recently created projects and sessions. You can click any of the cards here to access additional functionality. Let's start by clicking on Users. On the Users page, you have the ability to manage your members, collaborators, and member invitations. Members are managed users within your account that you've invited. Examples of members include employees, joint venture partners, and others of the sort. From this first page, you can temporarily disable or permanently revoke a member's access, and then click through to view the projects and sessions the member owns and attends. Collaborators are users who have attended one of your managed projects or sessions. You can block their access to all of your managed projects and sessions from this page and click through to see the specific projects and sessions they're attending. The Pending Invites page allows you to see who you've invited to become a member of your Studio Prime account and resend or cancel their invitation. To invite a user to become a member of your Studio Prime account, Click the Invite button and either type in their email address or upload a list of contacts. Once a user becomes a member of your account, you'll gain control of their studio account and management of the projects and sessions they own. So you may find it helpful to invite your employees to become members. Let's move on to manage projects and sessions. When you click on these cards, you'll see all of the projects and sessions your members own and be able to view who is attending them and what documents are uploaded to them. You'll also be able to transfer ownership to other members, generate reports, restrict attendees by email address, or even open a specific project or session in review where you can edit additional settings and manage uploaded documents. Now let's take a peek at integrations. If you have created or purchased a custom application that leverages the Bluebeam API, you can manage and enable that application here. More information on the Bluebeam API and how integrations work can be found at developer.bluebeam.com. Next, let's explore folder automations. Folder automations allow you to automatically perform a variety of actions on files in a studio project to streamline workflows. An example of a workflow that could be streamlined is converting files to PDF. The Word to PDF automation that you see here converts Word documents to PDF and applies a stamp, footer, and custom columns to the documents when they're added to the Convert to PDF folder in the corresponding Studio project. When I head into the project, you can see the original Word document in my Convert to PDF folder and the resulting PDF with the stamp, footer, and custom responsibility column in the PDF output folder. Finally, let's take a look at Insights. Studio Insights is where you can run reports on managed projects, sessions, and users to audit access to managed content. These reports include activity and statistics for managed projects and sessions, share file links for studio projects, and activity, internal participation, external participation, and statistics for users. These reports can then be exported as a CSV for archival purposes. Here's an example of a user activity report. That wraps up this quick overview of Studio Prime's core functionality. While simple, Studio Prime is a powerful tool that will give you better control over your data and who has access to it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.